Hi Paint Pouring people, I'm going to do an ocean scene today and it's going to be a combination of pouring stripes and swipes. I'm going to pour and I'm going to swipe. It's going to be my double swipe landscape technique which I've done some other videos on if you want to check those out in more specifics. But what I'm going to do is do this pouring, swiping and I'm going to work it out because it's it's not something that you do just once you got I want to work back and forth it's a combination of the paint telling you what it wants to do and me telling the paint what I would prefer it to do so it's a give and take and I have lots of colors laid out generally ocean colors I may use all of them but I want to make sure I have them all handy so once I start I want to keep going I don't want to stop and mix up paint today I'm using a 16 by 20 canvas with a 5 8 depth. This is an Arteza brand canvas. I've been using these lately. I really like them. They are on my Amazon shopping list as well as everything else I use to paint with. If you would like to check it out in the link below my Amazon list. I also put several coats of gesso on the painting on the canvas. I like the nice white surface. It doesn't matter what kind of canvas I buy. I gesso it. Several coats. I like the whiteness. I like adding some thickness to the canvas. I don't worry about smoothness. I like texture. And this is how I start all my paintings. I've got my swiping tools. These are offset spatulas. I'll use either both. Again, I, I use these a lot for swiping. They're on my shopping list. So everything's ready. Here we go. The theme of this video is work it out. And what, but one of the things I've done is I've worked out in advance what I want to do here. And of course, you see how it goes. But this is going to be water with no sky. And I'm going to have some sand down here. So it's going to be water and sand. And I'm going to mark my territory here in advance because I want to make sure there's some sand area, beach in this one. So I'm going to do that right now. Instead of going just from top, to bottom. I'm going to work back and forth. And if you'll notice I'm doing it in slightly diagonal. It's more interesting to do some diagonals instead of everything being straight across. So you want to keep that in mind composition wise.
going for the look of the water reaching the shore. And as you know, the water gets a little more sparse here. It's a stronger wave here, but it, the water gets a little thinner, a little more delicate looking down where it's actually meeting the sand. So I'm going to drag this and thin it down slightly and see if I can get that look that I'm thinking about. I'm going to vary the, the lines because, as you know, it's a very wavy line when, when water meets the, the sand. It also helps to step back for a minute, so I'm going to step away and take a look at it from a distance. Okay, when I stepped away, I see I want to blend this. This is a little bit too hard of a line for me. I'm going to blend this slightly. Now I'm going to take a look at what I've got here. I like this. I'm going to leave this alone. If you see something you like, leave it alone. I'm okay with this. I'm going to take a look at my sand and see what I can do about that. We're making waves. Not bad. I have some pearl here. I've been using white so far for the for the wave, the white waves. I'm gonna try some pearl for just a little variation. It's very similar similar to white, but of course it has a, a sparkliness to it. I'm just gonna use it up front here. Turn this around. See how it looks so far. This white looks a little solid to me, so I'm going to thin it down by just pulling some of this color into the white. Make it look like a little sh more shallow water as it's reaching the sand. 
I'm not going to do it everywhere. You want variations. Keep it interesting. Last thing I'm going to do is take a touch of pearl and come through the sand to look like a slight water line, but not much. There. Now, I don't want to get over fussy, so I'm going to stop right here. So in about 15 minutes, I did a 16 by 20 ocean scene. I had it worked out in my mind what I was going to do. There was going to be no sky this time. It was going to be more of a feature of the, the sand up front and a little bit calmer waters, but yet some, some activity. So I worked it out in my mind and then I worked it out on the canvas, pouring, swiping, making sure I did some curves. And the one important thing is I didn't want to overwork it. I stopped. I could keep tinkering, but you have to remember to stop. So I think if you can think to maybe stop at 80%, you have a, probably a finished painting. You want to keep it in the abstract realm, at least I do. Realism is not my goal. It's the essence. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe if you haven't already, and please comment. Also think about joining my, my Facebook group called Paint Pouring People. You can post photos of the paintings that you do based on my videos. We really have a lot of fun over there. And if you would like to support my channel, there are many ways to do it. You can go to my merchandise page, paintpouringpeople.com. There's lots of cool merchandise over there based on my original designs. Check the links below. I have a PayPal link if you'd like to support me through PayPal. Also a Patreon page. I have paintings for sale on Etsy. Check it out. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.